Hey fam, good morning. It's a bright and early Saturday morning and I just left the gym. So I'm feeling like I got a good head start on my day. Um, I don't have a ton of clients today at the shop, um, but I'm gonna stop at my, I'm stopping at the hospital because my niece had her baby and she is so gorgeous, y'all. When I tell you, she's like the baby I never had. <laughs> Um, because I'm not gonna have no more babies. I'm just happy anytime anybody has another little bundle of joy. So I'm gonna stop and see her before I go into work. And I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna hold actually. Tomorrow is Vision Sunday at church. So now that I think about it, our vision board isn't even complete. So I think I'll spend the evening probably doing our vision board because um, it's really neat how our pastor does it but um, basically we create a vision uh, for like the year for our entire family whether it's vacation that you want whether it's a new home or a new car or a new career even um, we put these things in plain sight and we put it on the board um, you know most people usually use like a magazine or people print out stuff or people sometimes just even write it down you know just visually being able to see what it is that you are trying to complete uh for the year is just you know a step in the right direction as far as planning and organizing your life i know for me and even my family as a whole like it's just a struggle to kind of like get that done you know so we put it on the vision board and then we take it to church and pastor just kind of prays over everybody's vision. Excuse me. It's such a powerful moment just because sometimes you need to like seal the deal. You know what I mean? And like really say, you know what? Like these things I need, I want, you know, and I know that I cannot do them without God, you know, and he completes it all. So I think that is what we're going to do. Um, I thought about cheating. <laughs> and using our vision from last year but it's it's actually quite different this year instead of us just putting stuff down on paper i'm actually thinking about the things that we actually need to complete things that we need to conquer that we've been talking about for quite some time so i'm going to for once actually you know sit down and be like so serious about this process and maybe i'll put that on here but for now I'm here at the hospital and let's go see the baby say hi <laughs> she just got done eating ain't she gorgeous yeah, just wait till we hit 10, are you gonna open your eyes are you gonna open your eyes for auntie I haven't seen them I have you have <laughs> hi Tori. Tori. <laughs> She's milk wasted. Say hi to the world. Tori. Come on, Say Tori. Hi. Tor Tor. So I just want to put the diapers in the milk that I have to take care of. Tori, say hi. Say hi. Oh. You're not gonna say hi to the world? Right. Oh my goodness! Look at you. What up, fam? Hi. As you can see, I got Talia. This is my niece. I just got off of work and I got some errands to run now before I have to go to church because I forgot we don't have our shirts for Sunday. So I gotta pick them up. Uh, so Talia's just hanging because her mom is still at the hospital for still having at baby. the hospital. Mm -hmm. Y'all gotta try these. These are awesome. Nasty. You see they were only a dollar. But they're not. Oh, that's nasty. my song. Hold up. Snap peas. Really good. Really? 
I really need to go to the hair store, honestly. I was really trying not to tell y'all that. I don't know why. But my... If y'all been watching all of the videos, then y'all know that my hair has been falling out. Ugh. So... Nobody would know that. I need to kind of find another hair solution before I go to church tomorrow. So that's kind of like my... And today. My, uh priority What's up, y'all? yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with that say peace peace yeah, we go to church and we can all church and we can mommy church and we can leah's church we all got on the same yes, shirts we all have on our shirts yeah so it is hey. sunday morning yes, and i'm sorry we weren't able to close out yesterday's vlog but yeah, um, we're sorry. We got kind of busy doing stuff. So we are here going to finish our vision board before we go to church. I know it looks really undone, but we've got a lot of stuff to uh uh not yet. We've we got a lot of stuff to put on it. We got you know food, fruit, all kind of different stuff that we're gonna put yeah, on the board. And yeah, we'll show you the end result when we're done. Maddie's excited about our vision this year, aren't we? Yeah? yeah. How about you, Look, Auntie. Auntie, I you, What you got? Nail polish. Cool. We got, of course, the Pinterest way. Because we love you guys and we want to continue to put more things out, more content for you guys. Be careful. We're back and we have finished it. And they're still cutting out a few stuff. Because we need to hurry up because today I'm dancing at church. And we have to wear all similar shirts. And because these are our new shirts. Just got today. To send the rain on your land in season. Yes, God. To send the rain yes, on your land in season. Now, this jacked me up. <laughs> and I tell you, I was jacked up. Why? Because it's what's on the flip side of the promise. If there are seasons of rain, that means there's seasons when it doesn't rain. Yeah. The promise is there's going to be seasons when it rains. Yeah. And also, the promise is there's going to be seasons. When it doesn't rain. See, because it rained twice, two big seasons during this particular time in this particular climate. They had the former rain and the latter rain. There was two seasons for about six months where it rained. But there were seasons and times where nothing happened. And they didn't see anything. Where the farmers planned, plowed, and planted and nothing happened. There's somebody today, God told me to tell you, you've been plowing and planting and planting, but you haven't seen anything happen. And some of you in this particular season, you're so frustrated and so angry with God and angry with others that you stopped working. Oh, can I tell somebody that if you're a farmer, the most the most time that you gotta work is in the season when it's not raining. The time where you do the most work is the season where nothing's happening. The time you do the most work when it seems like there is no result, when it seems like nothing is being blessed, that's when you put in the work. So church was awesome, guys. I danced at church today. Yeah. yeah. I sang at church today. We got our praise on, didn't we? And we went to children's church. And we made bags for the parents and people at church. Yes. Yeah, everybody in the church. Everybody in the church. Yeah. And, and it, ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm 
thinking she has something to say. But yes, church was awesome. I am definitely rejuvenated and motivated for the rest of 2017. I can honestly say I think Pastor preached an awesome, awesome word. Like it's something about just being full on like inspiration. And it's just been some things I think that have kind of gone unanswered, you know. Or unconfirmed, should I say. Maddie, can you hold on a second? I'm talking. You need to be polite and hold on, okay? But yeah, like it's just confirmation, you know what I'm saying? That things are going to be all right. Like it seems like there is absolutely no light at the end of the tunnel, but at the end of the day, God has always been there. He has always covered us. Like I can honestly say, like it seems. It doesn't seem that way. I'm going to say that. But we so easily forget how good God has been to us, you know. So, you know, to have that confirmation today that even though things seem harder than what they actually are, God is there along the way, the whole entire way, yeah. But, yeah, we're strolling. I don't think we need to go to the store for anything today. We have leftover Parmesan or eggplant parmesan so we're probably gonna eat that now i'm starving like i didn't get a chance to eat at all today like i've been drinking my protein water i do have a protein shake um so i'll probably i'll probably eat or drink that maddie why must you what do you have to say What? I said Granny kissing butt. Huh? Granny kissing butt. Granny kissing butt? But. Ain't that what it sound like she said? It said like Granny kissing butt. <laughs> 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 granny what? <laughs> granny kissing butt. <laughs> what are you saying? Granny. Okay, what about Granny? Granny, Granny, they cook. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, Granny's kitchen burn. Yes. Gotcha. Granny. I understand now. Okay, okay. Yes. Yes, Granny's kitchen did burn. Did burn. Y'all pray for her. What happened? Her kitchen caught on fire accidentally. Yes, her kitchen? Yes, yeah, so keep her in prayer, okay? Okay. I'm like, what? I thought she said gritty kissing butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. When you have a three year old and you don't completely understand everything she's saying right off. So <laughs> that's hilarious. But anyway, like I said, on a serious tip, pray for Granny, y'all. Her kitchen is definitely under construction. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hey, what up, fam? So, we're about to close the day out. We went to church. Uh, we had an a awesome worship, man. It was an awesome word. Then on top of that, man, I uh, came home, cleaned up some. I am actually about to head out to a... Uh, Somebody house. No, I have a cleaning at an office. My office cleaning. I have to run out there. And, uh, yeah, man. Thumbs up. Do you say nothing? You want to say yourself? You want to say anything? What's up? Okay. What's up, boyfriend? What? Oh, she did this.